Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own custom brush in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Um, we're going to make a brush out of Abraham Lincoln's head and um, it's pretty cool. It allows you to be creative and make a lot of interesting effects. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, first of all, I'm going to open up the image that I want to create a brush from. And this can be anything, so uh, I'm just going to use Abraham Lincoln. And here's the image, and it's a black and white photograph. So we're going to turn this into a brush. To do that, we're going to go up to Image first and select Adjustments. And then under Adjustment, we're going to select Threshold. And this is going to take all of the gray midtones out of it and just give us black and white. You can move this little meter back and forth to change the balance between blacks and whites. Somewhere in the middle is fine with me. I'll click OK. Now, this is obviously too large to be a brush, so we need to scale it down. So I'm going to go up to Select All, and then I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and Select Scale. Now, to scale this down, I want it to be proportional, so I'm going to go up to one of the corners, and I'm going to hold the Shift key down, and it will make our Abraham smaller yet proportional. Now I'm going to move this to the center so I can deal with it a little bit easier and I'll double click on it to accept the transformation. Alright now we're going to turn this into a brush. It's really easy to do. From this point just go up to edit and select define brush preset and this little box pops up and we've got a little image of our brush and we can name it whatever we want. I'm going to name it Abe. Click OK, and now all of a sudden we have an Abraham Lincoln brush. Pretty cool. So let's use it. So we'll select all, and now we can use the brush. Now first I'm just going to make a, a black mark um, with it, kind of like a stamp, and there you go. Now see this is a lot lighter because all of the same um, brush attributes apply to this. You can see my opacity's turned down to 26, so if I turn it up to 100%, I should get a carbon copy of that one. And there you go. So if you want to have several images, this is a good way to do it really quickly. Instead of copying and pasting, you can just make a brush out of it. But you can also do really cool things with this, like you can open up your brush menu and adjust the brush. Um, so let's do that. So up here at the top, you can see what brush you're working with. You can see what mode you're working with. You can see the opacity and flow. I'm going to go ahead and turn the opacity down just a little bit. Now way over here, you got a little folder. If you click on that, all these brush options come up and you can mess with these things and create different effects. For example, if I clip, click on Shape Dynamics, you can see I have the ability to move these guys around and you can see what happens to the mark, okay, as I play with these things. So let's, let's just play with it a little bit and then make some marks. You can see it's turning his head in different directions. That's pretty cool. Now let's check out Scattering. We can change the amount of Abrahams that are produced. That's probably way too many. Um, we can also affect how they're scattered about. So let's really scatter those Abrahams out like that and make a mark with that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so you can mess around with these uh, different options. Uh, we can change the texture. Yeah, I only got a couple to choose from there, but um, we can put a little bit of a texture in there. And you can barely see that texture. Um, so anyway, that's how you make a brush. And you can change the color. Everything that you would normally be able to do with a regular brush, you can do here. Now, I'm just saying this is a really large Abraham. Now, since we've got all these effects on, we'll just cut them off. Yeah, there you go. So uh, that's how you make up your own custom brush in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com.